Okay, today I'm going to be showing you a cool little wireless networking tool. You can also do this with Linux, but this is actually a lot easier than typing out all the command line and everything. This is illegal. I am doing this to my network. Um, they got a newer version of this that's supposed to work with Windows Vista. I tried it out and it's horrible. This version works pretty good. Um, I am going to post more, most of the stuff that you need to know in the description. Because while I'm using this tool, it um, makes my internet not work. Um, because the program is using my wireless to be able to pick up the networks so most of the stuff will be posted in this the description we're gonna click on the ERW and then monitoring mode. Monitoring mode is what only certain cards can go into. You need to uh, um, check the compatible list to see if your cards on there. I'm going to give you a link in the description to the compatible list. If your card is not on there then you either have to get one that is on there or you're not going to be able to use this tool. Um, as I said I'll just post the rest uh, the information in the description but here we go and then we click this scan uh, then if you hit Control C, it'll stop, and then you just pick through um, which network you want. Web is the easiest to crack. Um, a WPA2, and then just the WPA, they're pretty hard to do. Um, what you're going to do, the one you want, which we're going to be doing this one, which is my network. Uh, you just take the MAC address and copy that uh, and sorry about that my phone's going off and then you're gonna take the ESSID which is quest and you're going to copy that and you're going to paste that right here and you also need the channel it's on which is channel 1 and then you could type in pretty much whatever you want here and I'm not sure what my wireless card MAC address is so I'm just going to type in 0 oh. Zero zero. What the hell? Zero zero. And then if I start this really quick, it'll list it, which is right here and then I can just mark it and then I can put that in right here and then everything looks good so I can close out of this I don't need that anymore and then I can I need to change this the false thing you need to change that to a one then we're going to start this which this is going to be the stuff that captures it then you're going to start this
Then the injector. And this will run until you get a data packet and then I'll keep sending it. And it's going to make it a lot faster because you need about 3,000, well you need about 20,000 to 3,000 data in order to crack the password. It usually just keeps moving rapidly, but um, I think I might have forgot to put in something. No, everything looks good. Okay, now as you see, we have we have 31,000 packets. This is enough to actually crack the password. So what you're going to do, and oh yeah, the problem that I had with it moving so slow is because my um, wireless router is downstairs, so I get a pretty low signal upstairs, so I had to go down there and move some stuff around and now I'm getting a good signal and as you can see the it's moving very fast um, but next once you get enough data you just go to the um, aircrack ng And as you can see, there's the key. And that's it. The rest of the stuff I'll be posting in the description to give you a little bit of more in-depth detail. Um, thank you for watching. Please post comments. That's it. Bye.